Hello fellow Maulers, this is Ron Strange Moore back with another video here. Just thought I'd show you guys this neat little taco item here. This is a uh, number 937. It's a lighted crossing signal with lots and bell. And uh, this originally came out by Taco in 1980. And it originally, I think, came in the Golden Eagle Taco train set in 1980. But uh, it could also be purchased separately. If it's in the white box, like mine is, it's the train set version. Or you can get it in, of course, a brown box, which they sold in the stores. But mine would have been the one that came in the Golden Eagle train set. But, uh, yeah, this accessory was introduced from 1980 to 82. And uh, it's a great accessory. It's just absolutely awesome the stuff that Taco made. I mean, they were just ingenious in their accessories, the things they made and stuff. And this is no exception. But uh, let me just kind of show you guys here. I'm going to put this thing on the layout. So I'll have a video of this uh, actually operating on my taco layout here soon and I'll upload it so you guys can see it uh, in operation but anyways let me show you guys the same here I got this not too long ago but I didn't actually get the rest of the Golden Eagle train set because somebody had already purchased it I did get a few pieces of the Golden Eagle set I got, there was a Conrail Hopper, uh, this, uh, Call Signal Bell, and a couple other freight cars, but I didn't get the engine and caboose, but I plan on getting, trying to get the whole set eventually, maybe even in the set box would be cool, but anyways, back to this accessory, this is a really neat accessory, uh, this is one of my favorite crossings by Taco, I mean, this one's just awesome, it's got a winder, uh, you wind it up and the bell would ring as the train hit the little track strip on the front and then uh, the lights would actually flash so the lights would work off the electricity of the track of course and then you just wind the bell up I mean what an ingenious idea by Taco it just makes it really fun but anyway, let me show you guys the catalog here that it came in. So this is the 1980 catalog here. Of course, you got the Golden Eagle right there on the cover. And uh, let me flip through here. This is a really cool catalog too. Some neat stuff in here. The, uh, this first appeared in the uh, Golden Eagle train set in this 1980 catalog. As you can see, it's right there. Signal crossing the lots and bell, and it also included Night Glow. I'm thinking you couldn't get it without Night Glow. It was, I mean, it was a strip you, you stuck on there anyways, like stickers, you know. But uh, I know you can get it in this train set in a white box and a retail taco brown box. So, but yeah, this thing is really neat. It's got operating lights and bell. It operates automatically as train passes with flashing lights and bell. And you also could have got a operating crane loader in this set also. So it came with two accessories. It was a really nice train set. Pretty high-end train set at the time in 1980. It's pretty neat. Boy, that is a great ad. That, that belongs in a frame. So I've got a few of these cars from this set. I've got the Conrail Hopper, the Union Pacific Gondola, and the Burlington Northern Box Car. And I really want that Coke Tank Car and the Pulpwood Car and that locomotive and caboose. But anyways, this is the catalog the accessory came in, the 1980 uh, Tyco catalog. That is just a beautiful advertisement too. I mean, that is just, Taco City did some of the greatest ads as advertised on TV. Pretty neat. But anyways, I'll show you guys the accessory here. Okay, this is, so like I said, this is a white box. This would have been a train set only. Number 937. 
And uh, mine is actually missing the crate. There was a crate that went right here over the winder, but uh, actually no one of those is that, and I'm gonna get it. So this accessory will be complete. But as you can see, this thing is like mint. I mean, I don't think it's ever been used. This is like brand new. Those rails are shiny. It's really hard to find them in this kind of shape anymore. But, uh, especially just being a Golden Eagle train set version. But anyways, here's the instructions that it came with from Taco. Signal crossing, the lights, and the bell. So you would have got one base, one cover crate, and two fences. And this is number 937. Wind key in clockwise direction. Place the cover crate over winding key. There's the base. That's pretty neat. I mean, this, it was just an ingenious company. If they would have stayed around, I think they would have really came out with some cool stuff. It's a shame they were bought out by Mattel Hasbro. But anyways, this was, would have been how you assembled it. It came already assembled except for the fence, the crate, and the uh, lights you would snap on. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward instructions here. Shows you how to apply your knot glow strips. So this would have been when they were uh, consolidated foods. And uh, it's kind of weird. This one actually says, well, it's got Toronto, Ontario, but oh, that's consolidated foods. But Morristown, New Jersey, yep. Yeah. But, anyways. The, uh, here's the actual accessory. It's got everything with it but the crate, like I said, but I'm getting ready to get one of those. Here's the little fences that you would put on it. Snap on, of course, right here and right here. And here's your winder. It's pretty neat how this thing works. Just wind it up a little bit. Cover it with your crate. And when the train hits this little treadle here, it would uh, ring the bell. I mean, that is just so cool. Pretty neat. Now, if I had it hooked up to ele electricity, of course, these lights would be flashing also. See, Taco did this, so of course the box would close. They laid it down in here like this, but this one here is pretty much mint. It's never been used. But uh, I'll have this on my taco layout soon. You guys will get to actually see it operate. But I can pull this cover here off, I guess, and show you guys that too. This whole cover comes off. As you can see, this one here is pretty clean. I mean, it's got, you know, a little rust here. But then again, this thing is from 1980, so. But there's how the winding mechanism works. If any of you guys ever wondered, you taco guys or anything. I did put a little lubrication oil on that, kind of help it move a little. Here's your bell, it's just a basic alarm clock, like a vintage alarm clock uh, bell, you know. There's a little, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, but that's what hits your uh, bell and makes it ring, of course, when you do the uh, treadle here. You can see it tapping that bell. All the gears are turning in there. I want to tell you, Taco was just ingenious. Some of the things they come out with, it's pretty cool. Here's your counterweight. That would have been, makes it operate there. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just thought this thing was really cool, and I'm sure other Taco collectors think so also, but. I just wanted to give you guys a look at this thing. I thought it was so neat, you know. But uh, here's the bottom of it. Pretty neat. Made in Hong Kong. Yep. So this is pretty much like all their other crossings, except of course this one's got lots and bell. They also made a, another one that lit up, but it was just a single crossing with a little piece of track. I want to find that one too eventually, but 
I thought this one and the one with the man with the lighted jacket, you know, he popped out sort of like Lionel's uh, gateman accessory. I thought those two were the coolest, but this crossing right here is one of the neatest ones, really, in my opinion. I just love how it all works, how it winds up, and it lights up and everything. But, uh, just, just a neat accessory. Pretty neat. Anyways, I'll have this on my taco layout here soon, and uh, see you guys how it operates. Anyways, I appreciate all y'all watching, uh, uh, commenting, subscribing, and everything. I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, anyways, y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. I may do some more of these little taco accessory videos and things like that. But anyways, you guys can let me know if you like the video. I may do a bunch more, some more you know, as I get taco accessories and things, but... Anyways, this is Ron's Trains and More, out.